What's up? What? Why is it saying in the middle? <laughs> Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel Bam Bam Print. My name is Nick. And the reason for today's tutorial is the other day my daughter was on YouTube and she saw a video where there was two 3D printed models and they were able to connect to each other. Um, it was obvious that they were using a magnet. So I thought I'd create a real quick tutorial on how it was done. So what we're gonna be learning today is one, how to add primitive models, how to cut out a model using a negative part so that you can add a magnet, and three, how to pause your print so that you can insert the magnet in the middle of the print. This is gonna be short and sweet, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is add a primitive shape, and we're gonna start with just an easy block. So I'm gonna go right click on anywhere in your build plate, add primitive, we're gonna go cube, and we're not gonna make it very big, so let's just resize it with scaling. And we're going to change the size to 20. Let's just make it an even size and 15. So there's our cube. We're going to stick our magnet right inside there. Let's go ahead and center this. What you want to do next is make sure you have your model selected. Right click. Go to add negative part. We're going to do cylinder. What we want to do is create a shape that's, that's almost the exact same size as your magnet. So we're going to select that and we're going to change the size of it. And I believe our magnet is a 10 by 10 by five millimeters. So let's go 10.25, 10.25 and 5.25 for our shape. Let's right click on it, center it. So now it's centered exactly in our model. Now we can move it. Just pull it straight down. So it's going to disappear straight down into the model. You can see like that. Let's just call this uh, three millimeters. So now when we slice the model, you can either slice up here or click preview. Take your sidebar over here and pull it down and you can see now we have a hole inside of our model. So it looks perfect. Now another quick tip I wanted to show you, if uh, you happen to have your model inside it and you can't select it, if you just make sure that you're in process mode objects, you can go back, select your model there, click on move. And then now you can move it around again. I also wanted to mention why I decided on these dimensions instead of being the exact. Um, if I if we were to put it at exact, it probably would be a little snug. So I just wanted to give it a little breathing room, a quarter of a millimeter. So let's go ahead and move our hole back inside. Since it is a negative part, it will cut the cube out like we saw. Preview mode is in fact showing us that it's going to cut a hole in the model. So what we want to do next, right before it starts to print the top layer, we want to add a pause. So the way you do that is you can go ahead and stop right there. Over here in your layer widget, uh, if you right click on the plus, you can add a pause there. All right, so now we have a pause set right before the top layer is printed. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this to the printer and I'll show you the process of dropping the magnet in the middle of the print. All right, now the printer paused and it's time to drop the magnet straight in the hole that we created in the model. All right, and as you can see, the magnet fit perfectly snug in there with a little bit of tension, and that's exactly what we're looking for. All right, now it's time to resume our print. You can either do it here on the printer or in Bamboo Studio. As you can see, the hot end is heating up, and the print will resume and finish off. As you can see, the magnet is sticking to the outside of the 3D printed model and works exactly as intended. Again, my name is Nick and this is Bam Bam Print. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.